so let us continue with planning stuff that we have started in the last week so we looked into some of the example in the last class and we stop in this example in the last week so the planning problem basically describes us uh, requires us uh, an initial state from where we would like to reach to a goal state so there will be one initial state and there will be goal state and <coughs> so uh, our target is to reach from initial state to goal state one of the main difference from the normal search st strategy or the normal search algorithm that we have seen earlier is that the state has been uh, uh, now the states are being represented as a logical expression we can think of it's a proposition logic also <coughs> earlier we used to represent state in the custom manner depending on the problem we used to represent the appropriate state so like search problem again here we have some kind of a action that can change the state something similar to state transition rule here in planning problem we call this moves mostly as the action <coughs> each action actually comes with some kind of a preconditions and <coughs> which also has some kinds of effects this precondition basically describes under what circumstances i can actually apply certain action so if the precondition becomes true then <coughs> i can actually apply the corresponding action and once i apply this action the uh, state transition or the change in state that we we are going to observe are described through the effects uh, relation <coughs> so for the problem like flat tire we have we can remove one of the object we can put something on the excel so so given initial state given the goal state and given the set of actions the target is to come up with a plan <coughs> which so this plan will be a set of actions consecutive actions which once we apply such action we will uh, reach to the desired goal state from the given initial state so and if for this problem if we apply this set of actions in sequence then we can actually change the uh, flat tire from my car so now let us look into our different examples <coughs> and today we'll go into the algorithms and how we can actually generate the plan that we will look so consider this problem let's say i have been given a block something like a b c and which are organized in this manner so c is lying on top of a b is lying on top of table and both c and a together lies on top of table so we can assume there is a table here that we have uh, that i have not shown here and our target is to reach to a um, situation where a will be on the top and after that there will be b and c will be on the table so our goal is to move from this uh, <coughs> this configuration to this configuration <coughs> so so the initial state that has been given to me is uh, it's on on a is on table b is on table c is on a and there is nothing on top of b and top of c so that is my initial state the goal state that we can define is <coughs> on um, a is on b b is on c <coughs> and uh, c uh, so that is my goal state <coughs> we could have also specified on c table so no we will uh, specify that c is actually on the table but which is 
not required also. <coughs> now the actions that uh, that we have here is we can move one of the block <coughs> on top of another block so move x y will move the block x on top of y so if i want to have this action then the precondition should be that i should be able to <coughs> lift the block and here only one block can be lifted at a time provided there is nothing on top of it like for example here i cannot lift the block a because c is um, residing on top of a so so the precondition for move x y i need both uh, uh, there should be, there should not be anything on top of x there should not be anything top of y <coughs> then only i can actually apply move x y and once i apply this move x y then i can say that x is on y so that is one of the move which is available to us and another move is move to table so one of the block i just move on the table <coughs> so in that case the uh, the precondition will be that uh, there should not be any elements on top of x for example i cannot move a on the table because c is lying on here but i can move c uh, which is there is nothing on top of c so i can move c on the table if you look into this one for example like uh, i cannot move b2 on the table because there is something on top of b so move to table will require that there should not be anything on <coughs> on top of x and once we apply this one we can say mm, mm, x is on the table <coughs> now if i want to achieve this so the plan that uh, that needs to be generated which we can actually guess for this simple problem like we need to move c to the table <coughs> then we have to move a on top of b oops i'm sorry uh, so uh, i'm sorry that's wrong so 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 the the thing that we need to do is <coughs> so the thing that we have to do uh, definitely we have to move c on the table then we have to move b on top of c and then we have to move a on top of <coughs> b <coughs> so that will, that that will be the actual plan so move c to table move b to c and then move a b so that we can uh, figure it out for this simple problem now we'll be looking into how we can find out such a plan uh, more methodical manner <coughs> so let us come back to the same problem and we will see <coughs> so 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 given this configuration we are looking into the same problem given this configuration and we would like to reach this con configuration so this will be my initial state that are being hold so on C A on A table on B table clear C and clear B and here we would like to reach a situation where these two condition are actually hold. Now now the thing is what are the moves are available to me? So we can move one block on top of another block or we can move one block on top of on the table so one option is that we move c to the table so if i move c to the table then actually 
মানবদা গোল প্রেডিকেটস উইল বি অ্যাচিভড সো উই ক্যান ট্রিট সো উই ক্যান ট্রিট দিস অ্যাজ এ প্রেডিকেট অর উই ক্যান থিঙ্ক অফ এ দিস ইজ এ কাইন্ড অফ এ প্রোপোজিশনাল লজিক বিকজ বিকজ when i say a is on top of b i can assign a truth value so predicate has a different meaning there we we have not seen we will uh, see at a later point of time but we can think this uh, on a b as a proposition so if we move c on to the table then it does not achieve any one of the target propositions <coughs> another option is that what we can do we can move c on top of b <coughs> that we can do but again if we do that <coughs> then it also uh, it cannot achieve any one of the goal proposition propositions on the predicates now <coughs> now what we can do we can move b on top of c <coughs> so what will happen so if i move b on top of c then definitely this proposition will hold because on b will be on top of c so it achieves um, it achieves on b of on, on b c <coughs> so our target will be uh, to achieve this Uh, to achieve these propositions <coughs> if we can achieve this proposition and if we can achieve this proposition as well then we will be able to reach to the goal state so one of the uh, ob- one of the basic idea is that we figure out the sub goals so the different propositions and then we try to achieve those propositions from the given set of a given set of propositions <coughs> so let us look into this so now what we have said earlier so if we move b to top of c then it achieves um, on b c because uh, in a more formal manner <coughs> we would like to achieve on b c so and which uh, on bc can be achieved by when we apply move bc and move bc can, is applicable because i have this clear c and clear b from the initial state <coughs> so since uh, th- these are available to me so i can actually apply this ac- action and i can achieve this one but the interesting thing if we apply this action then i end up with a situation something like this and which is not the desirable one and from here if we try to re- reach this one if we try to reach this configuration then again i have to undo the stuff i have to move beyond the table and then we have to uh, we have to come back to this situation so def- so so the one point we sh- should keep in mind that we know that this action can reach uh, this proposition one of the sub proposition it can uh, achieve but we cannot apply immediately to achieve this one because once we apply this one it will it will be difficult to achieve the other proposition on the goal state for this example <coughs> so so the thing is now we will go uh, when we will see how how to achieve the uh, actual plan so we have the same scenario on the same actions that are available to me <coughs> now now we, so one, when we targeted to achieve this proposition we found that we cannot apply that action and that will lead to a problematic situation now what we will try to do we will try to achieve the other sub goal so on ab 
so if i want to achieve on a b then i need to apply move a b because then a will be put on top of b so i if i want to reach if i want to achieve on a b then i have to apply move a b and move a b can i can apply only when a is uh, there is nothing on top of a so i need to have clear a <coughs> at this point of time but but clear a is not available to me because from the initial condition and if i want to achieve clear a <coughs> then i have to move c on the table <coughs> so therefore if i so so and i can actually apply move to table c because there is nothing on top of c so when we apply move when we apply this action move to table c then it's applicable because the i have cleared c and which results into on c is on table but this will also give me a uh, give me a proposition that uh, uh, clear a so this proposition will also hold because there will be nothing on top of a <coughs> now once i have this clear a then i can actually apply move ab because this action this action will and uh, gives me clear a and i have already clear b available to me so so i can actually apply move ab because now i have these two available so i can actually achieve this one <coughs> and once i apply this move ab then as a effect then b will no longer be uh, cleared so not clear b will actually hold so now now the thing is if we apply this strategy then we reach a sol we reach a we reach this sub goal and this will lead to a situation <coughs> this will so if we apply <coughs> this set of transition then uh, then i i i i will get a configuration something like this for here it will be all three will be on the table so i will have a b c on the table <coughs> now once i move a on b then i have a configuration something like a and a is on top of b and c is on table so that will be my configuration <coughs> so definitely we cannot apply this configure this strategy directly to achieve this one <coughs> now <coughs> we have to uh see how uh, how we can achieve the other uh, sub goal and that we have seen that we can apply move bc because i have clear c and clear b and this can uh, achieve the other uh, proposition that we have seen in the previous slide <coughs> so now one of the interesting thing to note here that now we have a set of actions that can achieve some parts of the uh, some of the parts of the uh, propositions of the uh, goal state and through this path we can achieve these propositions and through this this path we can achieve this proposition so effectively we can achieve the complete set of propositions but uh, in a uh, separated manner now we have to achieve these the whole propositions together so we need to <coughs> order uh, these actions <coughs> now 
if we need to order there are a few things to uh, few things to note for example like say <coughs> so we have this uh, we have these three actions that we need to make now what we can say that we apply this action first then this action then this action so let me say this is the first action that i'm going to make this is the second action that i'm going to make this is the third action that i'm going to make now if i try to do that <coughs> then there will be some issue <coughs> what is the issue the I'm sorry <coughs> so uh, let's say so, so um, I'm sorry so let's say I try to apply uh, this way so this is the first this is the second this is the third so I have cleared C I can have clear A I and as a result I get on um, uh, C's on table <coughs> now from here i can actually apply this action because once we make these actions i can achieve uh, i have clear c as well as i have clear b <coughs> so i can i can make a move bc that will result in clear c and once we apply this one <coughs> so i have clear be available to me because I have moved uh, I have moved B on top of C so B so B so clear B will still hold and since I have applied these actions already so clear A will also hold now the thing is it's now I can actually apply <coughs> now I can actually apply this move a B and I can uh, get <coughs> so so I can actually apply this action because all the preconditions are satisfied so and I can achieve the uh, desired uh, propositions for the goal state so if I apply if or if, if I apply the actions in this order one two three then I can achieve this one but let's see <coughs> so the so the solution will be so I apply these actions move to move C to table then apply move BC and then apply move AB now think in the other way <coughs> so think in the other way let's say let's say we choose this as the first this as second and this as third so so what so if we try to do it in that way so what will be the issue let us see so we can apply this action because these propositions are being hold again we can apply this uh, action because the, the propositions will hold because clear a proposition I will get from here and clear B is already being hold so I can apply this one so once we apply these actions then then de definitely this proposition will be satisfied one of the sub goal we can achieve now we have to apply <coughs> this move now when i try to when i try to apply this move then this requires clear b and once we apply these actions i end up with a not clear b propositions now this proposition actually conflicts so <coughs> so if i try to apply the actions in this manner then this precondition will be violated so i will not be able to apply uh, so if i try to order the set of events then there will be some violations of the precondition so we cannot apply uh, in that order 
so the plan will be we move to uh, move to we move the block c on the table then we move b on c then we move a on b so there are other ways also the, so the the first thing that we have seen that we try to apply this one we let's say we apply this one first then this one then this one so definitely we cannot apply three before two or definitely we cannot apply this move a b before move uh, t t c <coughs> now let us see what happens when we try to order the set of events in this manner so if i apply this one then this clear c is not being hold for uh, this state or this action so the precondition will be violated <coughs> though f this precondition will be violated for this state similarly so if this precondition is violated so i i will not be able to achieve clear a for this actions though i have clear b available to me from here because i have moved on top of bc so clear b still holds here but i will not be i do not have clear a so i cannot apply this thing so it's it will not going to lead to a situation where i can achieve uh, this solution uh, this sub goal <coughs> So, so when we uh, when we solve a problem, we try to order the set of events in such a way that can lead to uh, that can lead to the goal state from the given original state or the initial state. Now, sometimes what happens that we may not achieve the total. Uh, we, we may not in we are we may not be interested in giving the total ordering. <coughs> we may we can be happy with some kind of a partial ordering because if I have the partial ordering I can find I can figure it out any kind of total ordering also for example let's say <coughs> let's say uh, I would like to wear my shoes for wearing shoes I have to first put on the socks on the left side uh, I have to put on the left sock then I have to put on the right sock then I can uh, mm, I can uh, wear the left shoe I can wear the right shoe so so the thing is uh, I start with an empty set so nothing is true here but what I want to achieve is the I wear the left shoe and I wear the right shoe and what are the actions available to be I need to wear left sock I need to wear right saw and then I have to wear the left shoe and the right shoe so so for when wearing this sock there is no precondition because I can wear it as it is but when it comes for the shoe then I should wear the socks before I put on my shoe so that is the precondition so if I try to uh, see the situation so I have a start step <coughs> on the initial state when uh, nothing is true and in the finished state what I want I have the left shoe and I have the right shoe put on <coughs> so again in order to achieve this what we will try to do we will try to uh, achieve the sub goals like I will try to achieve these propositions and again I will try to achieve these propositions so if I if I try to achieve this one then definitely uh, I have to <coughs> have an action, action something like right shoe because that will give me uh, a right shoe on <coughs> so so one thing so, the, so the, there will be on here I missed that part similarly this is actually the effect of uh, the uh, so so I want the left shoe on I want the right shoe on <coughs> so if I apply right shoe then I achieve 
write su on <coughs> but in order to achieve write su i need to have the right sock on similarly for the left su uh, so if i apply action left su then it uh, then it will achieve the left su on <coughs> similarly for from the left su, so in order to uh, so when i can apply left su action if the left sock is actually on <coughs> fine and then we can actually proceed in the same manner so left su left sock on can be achieved when we apply the left sock similarly right sock will ensure that right sock is on and from and the left sock i can apply from the start state right sock i also i can apply start state because there is no precondition now the ordering of this problem will be this complete diagram <coughs> here we we do not want to make any ordering on the stuff because this is a kind of a partial order i can achieve this goal through this path and i can achieve the right so through this path and we actually do not order the uh, the set of events because if i have the partial order i can easily find out a total order so when i have this partial order and the dependency i can i just need to generate uh, uh i i just need to generate an ordering which honors the dependency stuff and that can be f find out by doing a topological sort so here what i need to do that i <coughs> i can execute this as first then this one then this one then this one <coughs> so here i just need to maintain the ordering of left sock and left shoe right sock and the right shoe and i can interleave in any manner manner i could have said that i could have ordered this as first then this as second then this as third and then this as fourth so i could have ordered in that manner also only thing is that these the ordering of these two actions should be maintained again the ordering of these two event these two actions should be maintained fine so <coughs> so the for the partial order planning that we have seen till now the basic idea is that i make the choices only that relevant <coughs> part Uh, I make choices only that are relevant for solving the current part of the problem. So I select one of the sub goal, and then I try to figure it out how that can be achieved. And the general idea that it follows kind of a strategy which can be said as least commitment choices. So <coughs> we. Uh, like the in the previous example so here when we have the ordering we do not give the complete ordering we give uh, we, we, we are not interested in generating the complete ordering but we are interested in generating the partial ordering because if i have the partial order ordering i can generate the complete ordering so the ordering will be <laughs> we we leave the actions unordered unless they must be sequential like when we solve the block problem then we have we had to order the stuff but for sock problem we do not order the set of events similarly there may be a prob uh, when we solve this planning problem we may have some variables which we have not seen and if we have variable and uh, we try to leave the variable unbound <coughs> which we have not seen till now so the i what i mean to say that if if i have uh, if a, if i have a variable and 
for any such variable uh, any such value assigned to that variable if i can achieve then i will leave that variable <coughs> as a kind of a unknown or open in open step so or, or the unbound so i will not assign any values to that variable so <coughs> i will try to have a kind of a more generic uh, plan so that any value i can put and i can achieve that one wherever it is possible but when i in when i when i look into the actions usually it's not subjected to the list commitment so we we clearly specify that which actions we have to make so let us take another examples and uh, uh, try to order the uh, uh, and let us try to order uh, the set of actions as well so the problem that we have seen earlier that where we said that get me milk bananas and book so initially my agent is at home and in the start state what we have that i am at home and i do not have milk banana and book so <coughs> the information that are, that we have that i am at home i know that books bookstore sells books and in the market i will get milk and the, in the market i will also get bananas so these are the information given to me so sells bookstores book market sells market milk even the bananas are available in market the goal state uh, which is the desired target state what we want to achieve that i should have book and i should have milk i should have bananas and at the end uh, and i should be at home also <coughs> so that is the uh, goal the actions that we are we have been provided here that i can move to a certain place so i can move to a place go why if i say then definitely i should be at some other place other than y so i can say that if if i'm at x then i can uh, uh, apply an action go y which will actually achieve me that i reach to y location and i am no longer at location x so the variable that we are talking uh, in the last slide we are talking about the variable here we are specifying <coughs> the actions with a variable where we know that y can take value either home or bookstores or market so this so this is the variable that i can actually substitute the moment i substitute i assign a variable uh, the moment i assign some value to these variables it becomes a propositions so we can think of we have <coughs> three we have three different actions and uh, similarly we can have more combinations of such actions because i can move to um, i can move to market from bookstores i can move to market from home also i can <coughs> so i can have different combinations of x and y and so many moves are available to me similarly for uh, another actions that have been given to me that buy x so i can buy something but in order to buy x definitely i have to definitely i i have to have a location where x is being sold so i have to have a location uh, so i have to reach to a location y which sells x and that that is being ensured by these propositions so if i reach y and if that y sells x then i can actually have the x so these are the actions given to me definitely x can take value value book milk and banana and similarly for y will have the appropriate value <coughs> so now let us look into <coughs> uh, the example so we are at a start state 
where this is the proposition that are given to me and we want to achieve uh, achieve uh, a situation where we have book milk bananas and, uh, and we are at home <coughs> so again we will uh, start in the same manner so we'll try to achieve uh, these sub goals separately and then we'll try to find out the uh, partial solutions so let's say we try to achieve have book so in order to achieve have book i need to definitely go to a location to the bookstores which sells book so that i can achieve this one so have book can be achieved <coughs> if i am at bookstores because i know the bookstores actually sells books so i can buy book and i can have the book so in order to achieve have book i need to apply actions by book <coughs> and in when i can apply i can apply these actions by book only when i am at bookstores because otherwise i will not be able to get the book similarly if i want to achieve have milk then definitely i have to apply action by milk and definitely i can apply this my milk actions only when i am at market similarly for the bananas so i have to have i need to go to market then only i can apply the action by banana <coughs> now <coughs> now the thing is if we try to achieve or so uh, if we want to apply this my book definitely i have to reach i have to reach to bookstores and the bookstores i have not yet reached so i have to apply uh, <coughs> go to uh, actions which will take me to the bookstores and for uh, to apply go to bookstores i should not be at bookstores and which is actually true because i am at home so the preconditions will actually satisfy and uh, and as a result i will end up in a bookstores now not at home so when we apply this uh, when we apply this uh, actions i will be at bookstores no longer at home and since i know bookstores sells book i can actually apply these actions fine similarly if, like if i look into this one so in order to achieve at m definitely i have to <coughs> apply a similar uh, something similar to this one go m then only i can reach to um, marketplace so <coughs> so that i can actually apply if i am at home i apply go m then i will be no longer at home but i will reach to um, market and that will enable these two propositions which are actually the same proposition so if i reach <coughs> if i reach market uh, then i can buy milk and i can buy bananas <coughs> now if i look into uh, this part of the star then it has some kind of a partial ordering because once i reach to the market i can apply this action this action and this action in any arbitrary order in but uh, if i apply that one i will be able to achieve these two propositions <coughs> so these two actions are not conflicting with each other <coughs> fine now the situation is that if we if we look into these two actions for these two actions both requires at home which is true and you are no longer at home similarly you are no longer at home but when you apply these actions you are at bookstores when you apply these actions you are at uh, market 
now now the thing is we need to order these two actions because <coughs> we cannot apply these two actions simultaneously now interesting thing is that if i apply this action first then my at home precondition will be violated for this one because if i go to bookstore so i will be no longer at home so it will violate this at home precondition so i will not be able to apply to go in uh, go to market so that violates <coughs> this stuff but <coughs> but the thing is that <coughs> what we can do once we apply this one i will be at bookstores because that will be also true here so so instead instead of applying this as from the home i can say if i am at bookstores then go to market and that will lead to me um, then not at bookstores because if i use this uh, if i am at bookstores i can also apply go in because it's i can just replace this home by bookstores so <coughs> so the thing is <coughs> so i cannot apply uh, i cannot apply uh, uh, these actions after this one or or, or i have to take care i cannot apply these actions after this one but i can apply if i if i replace this home with bs because i am at a different location because here we looked into this action with respect to this initial conditions that have been given to me <coughs> fine so one of the the point that i would like to highlight here is that if i am uh, if i apply these actions if i apply this action then this uh, i cannot apply this action as it is because now i'll be at a different location so i have to modify the precondition and the uh, post uh, effects as well <coughs> so these two are actually conflicting in nature <coughs> now now one so so still i can actually so if i replace if i replace this with bs i can actually apply the stuff so this is no longer conflicting because once i go to bookstores i can actually uh, i am at bookstore so i can uh, go to market and i will be no longer at bookstores but the thing another thing is that <coughs> so uh, another thing is that i can apply these actions then i apply these actions <coughs> let's see so what will happen in this scenario <coughs> so i will reach to market but i will no longer will be able to buy the book because now if i apply these actions then this condition is violated right now because i am no longer at bookstores and now i am at uh, 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 market <coughs> so i cannot apply by book actions <coughs> so therefore uh, this is definitely not a good thing to do <coughs> so what we can do we apply this action we go to bookstores we buy book and from here we go to market so if we make this ordering then it's actually <coughs> uh, 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 better ordering because i complete the whole stuff then i go to market and then i can achieve this one <coughs> so so the thing is i had two choices either i can go to here 
or I can go there. So now what we are saying that though I can go to market from bookstores, but I would like to finish this job and then I will like to go ahead with this kind of jobs to do. <coughs> so, so the thing is, uh, we will make a link, kind of a link, which will say that we follow this ordering. So we we'll start with this, we go to bookstores, we buy books, then we go to market and then we do these two actions um, in any arbitrary order. <coughs> Fine. So, so, so wherever I need to order the set of actions, I can maintain a kind of a ordering of the set of events also. <coughs> now, now, so, so as of now, my, our, uh, I go to market and in the market, I can apply these two um, actions in any arbitrary order. <coughs> now, once I am at book, one I'm, once I am at market, because after applying go to M, so I will be at market and this will actually violate this condition. <coughs> so what I need to do from market, definitely I have to go back to home. In order to go to home, definitely I have to apply go home actions and I am at M now. So, so when I'm at aim, I can actually apply these actions and I can reach to home. So go home can take me at home. <coughs> Fine. <coughs> now the thing is, this action is actually applicable after this one also, because I'm at I am at market or I am at not bookstores. <coughs> I can actually apply these actions because this is still holds here. So, so what do we need to do? We need to order this and these events. Or <coughs> so if I if I apply these actions here and then these actions here, then I will not be able to achieve. I will not be able to get milk and bananas again I have to go back to market then only I, I can actually buy again I have to come back here so so if I try to go there then <coughs> then I will uh, if I, so, so if I do this one then this uh, this will uh, this will not help us to achieve this have bananas and have milk because if I go from uh, if I go from market to home, then I will not be able to order uh, these actions. So these actions and these actions I will not be able to satisfy because I am no longer at M. <coughs> so that is the constraint. So what we can do? So we can <coughs> change or we can make an ordering something like this. So, um, <coughs> so we go to market and we maintain this partial ordering and we said that from here we can reach to this finish state uh, or, or we can reach, we can achieve these two propositions. So once we do this, we can go home and from go home, we can reach to at home. <coughs> So this ordering we have to make. <coughs> so this is just maintaining the partial ordering. And once we have this partial ordering, we can actually find out the total total ordering. So effectively, uh, the, <coughs> the, um, the ordering that we will achieve out of this thing is we go uh, to bookstores from bookstores to I buy book and then I have I go to market 
from market i have i maintain a partial order i can buy milk i can buy banana and again i maintain a partial order from uh, milk to go but uh, again from bananas to go so there's a partial order because i can execute these two things in any arbitrary order which we would not which we are not interested in making a complete ordering <coughs> fine and from go home then uh, i have the uh, at home and i achieve everything now so so i have a direct path to this action then direct path to this action then a direct path to this action and finally there is a partial order between these two actions and once we complete this then i have a direct path to or i have a single path to the final finish state so this is the partial order that we would like to maintain so we stop now and we'll continue with uh, another technique where we'll be uh, uh, we'll be looking for a plan on a given drop and in a more efficient manner thank you